Now this week's We're Open takes us into the world of pottery. John Pozzoli is the head of ceramics at Silver Mine Art Center in New Canaan. Also owns his own studio in Norwalk. We take a closer look at how clay can be turned into works of art. We've been making pots before we had language. We've always had to have something to put seeds in, to put food in, to cook in. I knew that I always needed to do something with my hands. So when my hands are busy, my soul is happy. So I started clay in 2003. My goal was to eventually get to a place one day that I could make it a full-time living. It rests your mind. If you have a busy mind and your, your hands are busy, then it stills your mind and you get to just be at peace. I'm John Pizzoli. I'm head of ceramics at Silvermine School of Art, and I'm a full-time potter. You need to be able to master hand positions and, and the technical aspect of it. And there's chemistry and making the glazes and there's knowledge in firing the kiln and making sure that goes well. Um, so there's it's science and art coming together and there's something really special about that that gets to just make all the, the areas of my brain happy. So Silvermine Art Center is in New Canaan, Connecticut. It's a wonderful school that teaches everything from photography to wood to pottery, jewelry. Is that yours too? Yes! Beautiful! Yes. Although I am teaching, the student still teaches the teacher and I get to pick out little things that students are working on and, and figure out how that could be a cool idea to incorporate in a different way in my own work. I love to teach and give them something that they might not have known that they can do. Well, it's the hands and the mind. You have the connection between the, the two. You impart your personality and your energy into a piece. And after you make a, a couple, after your first semester of class, you, you really do develop a language in the clay that's your own. You can get to a stage in the pot's life and be happy and look at that. It's an art where you can stand back and say, look what my hands did and, and be, be happy and thankful that, that you could do it. It's just mesmerizing, uh, uh, just amazing work. We've got more information about the Silvermine Arts Center on our website as well as the News 12 app.